I'm going to go over I'm going over a case study for the Doing Good Network. But what we're looking at now is their original website that they paid a pretty good penny for, actually. And they actually they asked me to look it over and give some comments and and let them know if, if there was anything that I saw that was glaringly wrong. All right, so I'm going to take you through this little process that I went through. As you can see, it's a very interactive website. It's it's really awesome. It's it's geared towards attracting um, musicians and stuff like that. So you can see it really does that very nicely. It's built on WordPress on a what's called a parallax theme. And what that means is there's no separate pages. You just scroll down and you get to everything you need on the main page. Now if you want to, you can click on a button and it'll take you to an area really quickly. All right. So if you want to see who everybody is, it'll take you to that spot. But if you just want to stay on the main page, you're good to go. That's not a problem. So it, from the looks, everything looks perfect. Now there was some typographical errors and stuff like that, but that's, you know, that stuff happens. One of the things I did notice is that some of the fonts were different on some of the pages and I realized the reason that was is because they did a copy and paste of the content and they didn't do it the proper way. There is a specific way you should be copying and pasting content into a WordPress website. So that's why they have different looking fonts. I thought that was a pretty glaring thing about them that they that, that is a problem. Alright, now here's where the big problems were. Let me bring this over here. I needed to look at these things on different devices. So here's what the site looked like on an iPad. As you can see, not too bad on the main part. Alright, the, um, the menu is missing. You can't see it and there's no drop down so that's a bit of a bummer. And when you scroll down, you notice that things get misaligned. So now instead of these being in three with the content underneath it, now it's all messed up. And that's what it looked like on an iPad. Now because this particular company was going to be having people voting on different musicians and the voting platforms that a lot of people were going to be using was actually going to be tablets and mobile phones. I thought it was very, very important that it, it showed up properly on those devices. So this is a problem on, a, on an iPad. And here's what it looks like on a mobile device. As you can see, everything's all scrunched up. Again, there's no the menu doesn't really stand out very much. It's a little hard to know that there's an actual menu there. Oops, now I pushed a button. And when you scroll down further, if this will be done, all right, we'll go back to the iPad here for a second. So on top of having um, the errors in spelling and not they're having different uh, fonts and everything like that. It just didn't resize right on the e iPad. And you'll see that it, it does the same thing on the on the phone. Alright, so first everything on the page is all scrunched up. Then when you scroll down, if it'll let me, and I guess it's not going to. <laughs> well that's an issue, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's see if it'll take us there. All right, so we can't do that on this emulator. You'll just have to trust me, there was issues all the way around. Obviously, if it's not working right on the iPad, it's not really it's not really resizing properly on the i on the um, mobile phones either. When I looked at it, the uh, this was all in a single file, okay? And well, actually, I can give you a bit of a preview of what happened to it. Let's go back here. And I can make this smaller to about iPhone size, okay? 
and you see when you scroll down everything gets all out of alignment now these pictures are all in a row the content comes in underneath them that really doesn't make sense the images don't resize properly so it's very hard to tell what's going on some things just get way out of whack so and that that's a real problem when you want something that's responsible responsive on mobile devices so this was what they had now my challenge was to make all of this work on the devices that they wanted it to work on but keep the same feel all right so first thing I did was I took it off of a parallax theme um, I, I'm not a big fan of these all right the next thing I did is I changed the actual theme that it was on and I used one that I could I could make do what I wanted it to do and I knew it would be responsive across multiple devices all right so this is the old one obviously it's very nice very pretty here is the new one okay we kept the same look and feel now obviously the image here got much smaller it doesn't take up the whole space all right um, I tried to create the buttons where they wanted people to click I tried to make them actually look like a button so that people got the idea that they had to actually push it and then I made it stop okay so it's not in the parallax theme anymore so if you want to get more information you have to actually go to that page and get the information all right we also took care of all of the spelling errors and and uh, the different fonts that were going on in there all right but that's I, I don't think that's like the biggest thing with this I mean I could have made it look exactly the same here's where the problem was is to make it look right on all the different devices so here is this new site on an iPad as you can see it um, resizes itself properly so everything's not all jumbled up when you go down here everything gets a little bit smaller and takes up the room that it's supposed to get in instead of getting all messed up and you can go to other pages without any problem all right now granted the the um, the menu isn't the best looking but all of the information is here and it reformats and resizes the way it's supposed to on the mobile phone that's where you get the best thing so you have an actual menu the image resizes itself perfectly okay and I don't think it allows you to yeah, this thing doesn't allow you to actually scroll through but you get the idea that everything actually works the way it's supposed to what I did let's see I can make it do the same thing again so here's what it would look like on a mobile device everything gets uh, resized the way it's supposed to now the images here have the text that goes with the image directly underneath it okay and you don't have to guess what the image is supposed to be about it loads up a lot quicker than it did on their old platform as well all right so I think you can see what the difference is here is this is the new site on an iPad and here is their old site on an iPad right again new let's go to the mobile phone this is the new one on a on a mobile device and here is the old one on a mobile device not a huge difference but there's a menu you can actually see it on the new one and the image resizes itself so that is my case study I was able to actually come up with a website that had the same look and feel was actually able to resize itself on different devices and uh, on top of that I installed some Google Analytics so that they know <laughs> who's coming where they're going to uh, you really can't 
can't improve something if you don't actually measure it. So that is my case study for the Doing Good Networks website. Again, this is Amy Howard with Amy's Web Design. If you want your online business to shine, call Amy's Web Design.